researched and learned from Adam Rodensky, Joe Hamilton, and Nick Hamilton's portfolio website in terms of their content's full screen layout, as well as the overall grid system. Combining with my own vision and aesthetic of the portfolio, I aim to create a minimum portfolio in full screen layout with white background, without too much complexity and interruption in the interaction, navigation, and experiencing of the work, as the work itself is what I'm trying to highlight through this online environment. Starting with the home page of the portfolio, where I will be talking through all the 11 works being included in three categories in this presentation. The home page aims to achieve a full screen clean layout, where the thumbnails of each work is ex expanded big enough to the sides, so it is easy for the user to realize what work has been included immediately, as well as having a general sense of the aesthetic of me as a designer and the fields that I've been working with. Inspired by the way Adam Rosensky did his thumbnail, the title of the work would be reviewed on Moss Hover. The reason why I ended up choosing to do it this way, despite the initial attempts to produce a thumbnail based on the original image, is that each of the covers contain different aesthetic styles and composition across each other. In order to maintain a consistent visual style and to make all the works connected and belong to this portfolio, putting a layer of deep to white to all the covers with text written is the solution that I went for. The first category of work would be video editing related, both from the degree as well as commercial ones I did for a contemporary gallery in Shanghai, which includes drone cinematography, exhibition of a view, interview with the lady of the gallery during its five years anniversary, and two concept short films surrounding the topic of potential danger from latest AI and over tourism. These five pages follow the same layout, which is learned from Adam Rodensky, where the grid system allows a variety in the number of images included in each row. As I was trying to come up with something more visually appealing and less scrolling for the view of the portfolio, rather than simply listing every single image in full screen scale in one long column from top to the end. As well as depending on the shot, sometimes a sense of time and speed could be established when they are juxtapositioned horizontally to each other, which is something I didn't expect when developing the grid system of the portfolio. The second category contains four works made in Touch Designer. A 3D light sculpture where its flow, texture, volume, and colors are driven by music. Two different audio generative painting networks, as well as an automatic typography system. Each page of the work contains a short trailer video on the top with a text brief, following a consistent grid system to all the other works. I aim to showcase the video and image content in a clean full screen layout so that it is easy for the user to navigate through. The third category will be two of the other genres of work I developed. A collage art about an extinct animal called Pyrimia ibex, which I used to be found in Europe, where I try to depict its form of existence from the nature to gradually being wiped out by the Industrial Revolution in the last century to when it goes completely extinct and its form of existence could only be found as data and pixel dots in the machine and through digital screen, as well as an old and rusted vending machine living in the shadow in a quiet metro alley, made in Maya and inspired by Takashi Murakami flowers, trying to highlight the hard work, potential, and infinite possibilities carried by things and people who we often neglect or take as granted during their day-to-day -day life. Also, these two pages are where I learned from Joe Hamilton's way of presenting a whole image, as well as knowing how to highlight the details contained within. Lastly, this is show reel contains all the movie images works I've done in its individual page, with its time being indicated, so any future iterations of the show reel could be easily put into this page without any confusion. And there's the about page, where it includes my bio as a designer, email, CV, and buttons to other professional platforms such as LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube. Following the feedback giving class, I've also listed this information in the CV under this page so it is easier for the user to navigate without the need to click and open and download this file.